hiking up Mount Everest. His name is Mark Wood. We will keep you posted on his progress and fourth graders are also learning about his journey in computer class. He and a small team are at the base of, a, base of the mountain and are ready to start their hike. It will not be easy and we can follow along with his journey. For more information, visit the website above. Here's an update from Mark Wood, the explorer and adventurer setting out to climb Mount Everest. On Wednesday, Mark Wood communicated with the school in Montana through Skype to give them an update to, on his trip and answer questions. Stay tuned for more updates as he heads further up the mountain. Here's an update from Mark Wood, the explorer and adventurer setting out to climb Mount Everest. He is moving closer to what he calls base camp. It is getting colder and it's starting to snow. Here's a picture of Mo connecting to Skype through his satellite connection since there is no cell service or Wi-Fi he, where he is. For more information about his journey, visit the website above. Here's an update from Mark Wood, the explorer and adventurer setting out to climb Mount Everest. He continues moving towards base camp and has been busy making Skype calls to schools in Australia, Japan, and Nigeria. Here you see him pictured making a Skype call. Here is a picture from his last stop at Monastery. Here's a picture of the beautiful scenery around his current position. La Last, here's a beautiful picture of the Himalayan mountain range. For more For information information. about his journey, visit the website above. Mr. Dolan emailed Mark Wood yesterday and received a quick response. He even gave us two different shout outs on his Facebook page. Here's the first picture. Here's the second picture. He has agreed to send us a picture from the top of Mount Everest and also Skype with us once he returns to the United Kingdom. He wants us to spread the word and show how modern day explorers operate and to highlight environmental issues and to encourage students to think differently about their own lives. Our goal is to get 200 people to like his Facebook page. Since third and fourth graders don't really use Facebook, this is a great opportunity to get your parents involved and follow the journey with your family. Let's see if we can meet our 200 like goal. There's a link on the main PS webpage. Or you can visit the website above. Here is, an up Here is our Mark Wood update for today. He posted some beautiful pictures of his current position. Here is a look up at two of them. Remember, our goal is to spread the word about Mark Wood's adventure. Let's see if he can reach a goal of adding an additional 200 Facebook likes to what he has already has. This is a great opportunity to get your parents involved and follow the journey with your family. Not much new to report from the Mark Wood website. The last update said they were about three hours away from base camp. Remember, our goal is to spread the word about Mark Wood's adventure. Let's see if we can reach our goal and of adding an additional 200 Facebook likes. The likes keep adding, so keep sharing. The weekend. Weather conditions have stopped the expedition for now. Extremely cold temperatures and high winds are forcing everyone to stay back. Base camp. Once the weather improves, they will continue their climb to the top. What has been up to? No major updates since yesterday so they must still be experiencing bad weather. The wind, snow, and cold weather can be wicked. Remember, our goal is to spread the word about Mark Wood's adventure. The likes keep adding up. His page had 806 likes a few days ago, and now he has 843. By liking the page, you can follow the expedition on your own and see all of the latest updates. There's a link on the main VES webpage. Or you can visit the website above. He is currently at almost 20,900 feet above sea level. Mount Everest is just under 
30,000 feet. Mark is getting used to the high altitude, which is much harder because there is less oxygen. He continues to explore his current area and is planning the next part of the expedition. Remember, our goal is to spread the word about Mark Wood's adventure. The likes keep adding up. We are now up to 863 likes, thanks to everybody's, everyone's help. Keep it up, VES. Remember, there's a link on the main VES webpage. Or you could visit the website above. Here's an update from Mark Wood. He said he slipped headfirst into a block of ice. Luckily, he was wearing his helmet, so he was not injured. This goes to show you how dangerous it is be on the mountain because things can change in an instant. If everything goes as he as planned, he expects to be at the summit on the 17th of May. We will continue to follow his progress and wish him a safe journey. Don't forget, we have to continue to spread the word about Mark Wood's adventure. The likes keep adding up. We are now up to 868 likes thanks to everyone's help. Keep it up, VES. There's a link on the main VES webpage. Or you can visit the website above. Here's an update from Mark Wood. We uploaded a picture and message from our news engineers yesterday, and Mark said, looking good, news team, and say hi to your school. Vaz from his Tastics class also sent a message yesterday asking Mark about his plans once he finishes Mount Everest. Mark said he is going to cycle across New Zealand in October, then cross the Arctic to the North Pole in February. His reason for climbing Mount Everest was to link students to the extremes of our planet, and as you can see, it worked. Great question, Faz. Don't forget, we have to continue to spread the word about Mark Wood's adventure. The likes keep adding up. We are now up to 876 likes, thanks to everyone's help. Keep it up, VES. There is a link on the main VES webpage. Or you can visit the website above. Here is a look at a map of Mount Everest Mark Wood posted. It shows all the base camps all the way to the summit. We posted a comment on Mark's page yesterday about his daily activities and we are waiting for him to respond. You might remember he has to use a satellite phone because there is no cell service or Wi-Fi on the mountain. Strong snowstorms can limit how well his satellite phone works. Don't forget we have to continue to spread the word about Mark Wood's adventure. The likes keep adding up. We are now at 880 likes, thanks to everyone's help. Keep it up, VES. There's a link on the main VES webpage. Or you can visit Let's the website see what above. Mark Wood has been up to. Today he is planning to travel to Camp 2 and beyond. Camp 2 is Mark with a star. As you can see, he made a lot of process, but it looks like the hardest part is yet to come. Don't forget we have to continue to spread the word about Mark Wood's adventure. Let's keep at the likes keep adding up. We are now up to 884 likes. Thanks to his help. Keep it up VES. Remember, we want to br break 1000. No new update for Mark Wood, but yet but there is a cool fact. Mount Everest is the tallest mountain measured above sea level. It measures 29,029 feet. If you have ever flown in an airplane, that's how high they typically fly. The legs have slowed down a bit. We are now up to 889 likes. So let's see if we can add some more. Remember, we want to break a thousand. There is a link on the main VES webpage, or you can visit the website above. Here are a few more facts about Mount Everest. 
Mount Everest is located at the border of Tibet and Nepal in the, in the Himalayan mountains. The summit is directly between Tibet and Nepal. Here's a look using Google Earth. from New Jersey about 7,500 miles away. We are now up to 891 likes and let's see that, wait, wait, sorry, likes and we see that Priya from the Hums class has left a, a comment for Mark Wood yesterday. We hope to hear from him soon. Way to stay in connected, Priya. Mark Wood just posted an update about four hours ago. He is at the base, he is at base three now and is busy tra training, planning, and resting for the final trip to the top. If the weather cooperates, he is planning on being at the summit Wednesday. We can't wait to see all the cool videos, pictures, and posts that will, be, that will come after his trip to the summit. He has 895 likes on his page, so let's see if we can add some more and give him a big boost before he makes his trip it to the top. Remember, we want to break 1,000. Mark Wood posted an update this morning and is just waiting and resting until it's time to make the last push to the summit. His goal is to make the summit on Wednesday if the weather cooperates. He will be trying to keep all of his followers posted each day of the climb. He has been on the mountain for 50 days now and has learned a great deal about the culture and landscape of the area. He has 899 likes on his page, so let's see if we can add some more and give him a big boost before he makes it to the top. Remember, we want to break 1,000. He has 906 likes on his page, so let's see if we can add some more up for and give him a big boost before he makes it to the top. Mark Wood has been busy responding to some of our questions and liking our comments. He likes the comment Miss Banky's class left last Friday. Here's the comment they left. Keep on going, buddy. We're supporting you. You're almost at the top. Everest doesn't climb itself, so somebody's got to do it. He also answered some questions from Allison. We will share some of the answers tomorrow. If going, if, if things go as planned, the, he wants to make it to the summit tomorrow. But weather plays a major role in his plans. It must be some view from up there. He has 908 likes on his page as if this morning. Remember, we want to break 1,000. When we started, following Mark Wood, he only had 806 likes. Last week, Allison asked Mark Wood if a few questions when she was in the lab. Here's what Mark said. Allison first asked about how he gets food at battery power. Mark said he gets his battery power from the sun with lightweight folder solar panels. Food is carried to base camps by porters, and he said there is a huge amount of food. He's dehydrated food, and all you have to do is add boiling water, and you have yourself a meal. The dehydrated food is lightweight and easy to carry. Mark also, also posted an audio broadcast yesterday and talked about the heavy, slow, and bad satellite reception he had. This was delaying his final climb to the summit. We will share some more information tomorrow. The summit is only a few days away if the weather cooperates. He has 913 likes on his page as of this morning. Remember, we want to break 1,000. Now for the rest of Mark Wood's response from Allison's question about the local people and wildlife. Mark said that there are villages near the bottom of, the, of, the, of Mount Everest. The main village is called Gorik Shep, and it is at height of almost 17,000 feet. 
the oxygen level gets lower as you get higher in altitude so much so so much so that most of us cannot survive about 14,000 feet it's amazing that the local villagers have no trouble living at 17,000 feet the human body can adapt to just about anything as far as wildlife goes he sees the following wildlife yaks and plenty of them ravens yellow-billed caws and even occasional eagles at low uh, lower altitude we will share some more of the information tomorrow the summit is only a few um, a few days away if the weather incorporates he has 900 921 legs on his page Mark as if Mark made an more. attempt for the summit yesterday. Unfortunately, he had to turn back because of high winds. He will make another attempt today. Hopefully the weather cooperates. Let's see what other information Mark Wood shared with us during the week. When asked about how his day was spent on the mountain, Mark said it consists of waiting, training, and checking out his gear. They need to get used to using a ladder to cross gaps in the snow and ice. He can spend up to nine difficult hours climbing before he rests. Mark and all, all climbers need to climb and they typically go to the lower altitude base camp to rest. The physical effort, altitude, and cold takes a toll on your body and you typically eat a lot more food since you are using so much energy. He says once you reach the real altitudes known as the death zone, you can lose a lot of weight, so you need to eat to keep your strength. It's known as the death zone because the air is so thin and there is not much oxygen. As you can see, the cold temperatures, high altitudes, and strength needed to climb Everest pushes the human body to the limit. Here's Mark heading up Everest. Good luck. You can do it. He has 928 likes on his page as of this morning. Remember, we want to break 1,000. When we started following Mark, he only had 806 likes. Let's see what Mark Wood has been up to over the weekend. He, along with his team, made a second attempt for the summit of Mount Everest. Unfortunately, with only about 1,500 feet to go, some members of the team had health concerns so they made the difficult decision to turn back. It must, have been, it must be very disappointing to have to turn back when you are so close to your goal. But safety comes first, and we know that Mark will not give up until he gets to the top. He has 936 likes on his page as of this morning. Let's see what Mark Wood has been up to. The good news is that Mark Wood and everyone else is safe. The bad news is Mark had to head back down the mountain. Members of his group were not feeling well due to the extreme cold and lack of ex oxygen. Mark had to take a leadership role and lead his group to a lower camp and to safety. Now, now, for now, this is the end of the missions. They made it to within 1,000 feet of the summit. We will have to wait until Mark leaves another post to see if he will try again soon or at a later date. It shows tre a tremendous amount of character for Mark to sacrifice his goal in order to bring the people in his group to safety. Mark is, true, is a true explorer, so I am sure he can't wait to make another attempt at the summit. We will stay tuned to hear about this next try. Mark Wood posted a message yesterday and said both of the guides that got sick are now fully recovered. Mark will be getting on a plane soon and heading back to Britain. He reported that he lost a lot of weight, especially in his arms and legs. This is due to the high altitude and extremes of the area. Here are some awesome pictures he took close to the summit. The first awesome picture looks over the Himalayan mountains.
Next you can see him using a ladder to cross a gap in the snow and ice. He is Mark proudly flying his flag. Last is a picture of Mark with a beautiful background. Did you notice that he is wearing a mask that supplies him with oxygen? The air gets thinner the higher you go so you need the oxygen to help.